Up a coyote bounty program to control the animal's population. Yeah, for several years we've been reporting on coyotes attacking people's dogs. Well, now the General Assembly is looking to see if this program will be a model for other counties. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner has more on this new legislation. Brandon, what will this program involve? From Lake Wiley to South Park, coyotes continue to pop up throughout the Charlotte region. They're blamed for attacking several people's pets, including Debbie Rucker's German Shepherd. They had ripped open both sides of his back, you know, his backside. Their mere presence has led people to flood NBC Charlotte's inbox with their concerns. Now the General Assembly passed new legislation sponsored by North Carolina Senator Tom McGinnis that will allow Richmond County to develop a pilot program to control the coyote population. The county will capture and tag up to 10 coyotes and neuter them before releasing them. If a hunter kills one of those 10, they'll receive at least $500 per coyote. The idea is it will encourage hunters to kill more coyotes than usual. However, animal rights advocates, including the Humane Society, argue programs like these are ineffective because coyotes are able to reproduce quicker and have larger litters when they sense their populations are being controlled. Despite recent attacks on pets, Chris Matthews of Mecklenburg County Parks and Rec says coyotes rarely attack people, even if they're rabid. I don't think people, regardless of where they live, should be surprised to see them, even in South Park, even in uptown Charlotte. Deterrent for a coyote attack on your pet is yourself. Coyotes are actually afraid of humans. Reporting live in West Charlotte, Brandon Goldner.